at me now. It can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Is it over? Ninja is Grey Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Grey Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. 
Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? 